Hello, and welcome to Moment of Truth. My name is Ginger, and what we do on Moment of Truth is we look at one scripture verse, and it uh, sometimes changes our day, the course that we're taking, or it might even change our life, the way that we look at things. And today I am coming at you from the beautiful outdoors. Such a beautiful day out here. I hope that you can enjoy the weather where you are today. And we are going to be looking at Proverbs, the 24th chapter, and we will be in verse 14. Did you know that if you read uh, one proverb a day, each day of the month, you will have completed the book of Proverbs in a month. And what I have done with my children over the years is that this is a book that we read at breakfast. And I appreciate my friends who reminded me of that because you get out of habits and you need to get back into them. So what we have here is know also that wisdom is sweet to your soul. If you find it, there is a future hope for you. And your hope will not be cut off. So let's read that one more time. Know also that wisdom is sweet to the soul. If you find it, there is a future hope for you, and your hope will not be cut off. Well, this is um, one of the verses in this whole chapter that I was reading today with Emma at breakfast time. And this verse in particular just kind of jumped out at me, so I thought we would break it up and look at it. So know also that wisdom is sweet. What is wisdom? Well, the simple explanation for it is that it's a skill or learning, something that you have attained, a skill that you're working on. Well, here on Moment of Truth, what I'm trying to encourage us all to do is to gain a skill and learning of studying God's Word, even if it's one verse a day. But just to pick it up, touch it, hold it, and read it and let it penetrate through to your soul so wisdom the word hokma it's a noun and it means skill and learning wisdom just we can't have wisdom if we haven't learned something and so once we have learned then we have some wisdom and then what is it that the wisdom promises us it's if you find it there is a future hope for you so what is that wisdom that would give us a future hope? What does the word future hope mean? Because you're sitting here thinking, well, what is this man actually saying? Well, he's talking about, according to um, the Hebrew, the word is arit. It's a noun, and it means the far side. So that's interesting, isn't it? The far side, and it's at last at the end. So that is what is meant for future hope, at last, at the end. So if you find wisdom, you will have a hope at the end. And it goes on to say, and your hope will not be cut off. Well, that word cut off is the word karat, and it's a verb, and it means to break a covenant. So if you have the wisdom, you won't be cut off, and you'll have that future hope on the far side. What a beautiful thought for today, huh? And what an encouragement to us to study God's Word and to become wise. I think that's just a beautiful thought today. I hope that you have a wonderful day. God bless us all. Thank you for tuning in and as always, like and subscribe. Have a great day. Bye-bye.